Hi students, so in this video, we will learn Form 4, Chapter 1 at Maths and Chapter 1 is about functions where you, first of all, you will learn about relations and the types of relations that you need to know so I'll give one simple example here okay, so we have elements in this and also elements in this right so we have here two sets here so when we look at these elements we can see the arrows that are mapped all right so this part here all right is called the domain and this which which part is mapped it's called the codomain now as you can see one is mapped onto a so the arrow here we state as mapped onto. So number two is mapped onto A. Number three is mapped onto A. Number one is also mapped to B. So as we can see, this is domain, this is codomain. Now we have uh, all the elements in the domain, and all the elements in the domain are called objects. Okay, so all the elements in the domain are called objects. All the elements in codomain are called images. Okay, so domain, codomain, objects, images. Now, so when we write, when we write down domain, okay, so we put curly bracket, domain consists of one, two, and 3. Okay, so how about the codomain? The elements in codomain are A, B, and C. Alright, now what are the objects? Okay, objects we just write 1, 2, 3. We don't have to put the curly bracket. Okay, what are the images? As you can see, the images here are only A and B because the elements here are only mapped to A and B. C, it's not. So, we only write A, B. Okay? And final, we have range. Okay? So, range includes only the elements which are mapped. So, meaning that range, we have to use curly bracket. Okay, and write down the images that are has been mapped to. So the range will only be A and B. Alright, so this is the basic concept that you first need to understand. So once you understand this, then we can go into uh, the types of relation that you need to relate with. So let's go into the types of relation. So now let's look into the types of relation. Of course, you can see I have drawn four different diagrams here. So the first diagram, we have all the uh, objects mapped to one image each. Alright, so as you can see, this is one, this is one. So here, we say this as one to one relation. Okay, because one object is only mapped to one image. Now, the next one here, uh, you can see that there is one object and it's mapped to two images. Okay, so two is already considered many. So here, we state this relation as one to many. Okay, so this one will be, as you can see, two objects. Both are mapped to one image. Alright, so here, many, here, one. So this is many to one relation. And the last one but not least, we have here one object mapped to two different image. Here we have two objects mapped to one image. So here we have many to many because we have both ways going on here. So many to many relation. Now, these are the four types of relation that you need to know. Okay, it's very simple. All you need to identify is how many objects are being mapped to how many images. So, you can proceed uh, by clicking the next link which is below, alright, in the description box to see 
uh, examples of function, solving function problems. So until I see you in the next video, bye.